Hi everyone and welcome to my new channel. The title is Bucket of Books and I will go to the about listing and give you an idea of what my channel is about. Uh, and this is what I wrote. I love finding awesome thrifted and bargain books but to not become overwhelmed and to make my reading more manageable I have decided to fill a plastic bucket with books I plan on reading and working my way through the contents of that bucket. Please watch to see my choices to fill my bucket and my progress in reading those books as well as occasional reviews and book hauls. So again, the name of my channel is Bucket of Books and I hope that you will um, watch and uh, that you like what you see. So I'm going to show you my stack of books. These are all um, thrifted, bargain, or otherwise used books that I've acquired. And um, you'll notice they're thrift books. I've gotten some from um, Book Outlet. And, but I'm not sure. I think most of these are thrifted books. So I'm going to start filling my bucket. And this was a, a actual little rectangle-sized bucket used to hold laundry detergent, but it's got a lid that I can use, and um, it will just be a good, safe storage place, and as I read one book, I can uh, remove it from the bucket and work my way down to the bottom before I um, start on any more, and I think that way I can make choices that, I, that really interest me at the time. I can do as few or as many as I feel I want to try and conquer, and uh, I just thought it would be fun to show you what's going to go in the bucket for this very first time. This one is called The Dark Rising, The Complete Sequence by Susan Cooper. And um, I believe there's three books inside of here. And um, yeah, I, I don't know if anyone else has read it. It's a fantasy. It's an epic rendering of the eternal conflict between good and evil. And it's got a beautiful cover on it, The Dark Rising. So that's going to be down there in the bottom. The next one from that is Glimmer Glass by Jenna Black. Um, I love the old TV series Murder, She Wrote. So when I find these books, I uh, try to grab them. Trick or Treachery, Murder, She Wrote. This one's set in Cabot Cove. Just a very short reading, and I thought that would be fun. This is called The Near Witch by Victoria Schwab. That's another beautiful cover. This is a little short book. John Steinbeck Travels with Charlie in Search of America. This is a older book and it's thrifted and I think the cover is just really cute. He goes across country I guess with his poodle. This one uh, is originally from Michigan, and this one is set in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. It's called Cry in the Night by Colleen Coble. Uh, a beautiful picture there. I remember sunsets like that up north, and I thought this would be a very interesting one to work on. This is one from Dollar Tree, and it's by Alex uh, Cava. It's called Hot Wire, a Maggie O'Dell novel. It says, twisted plots, shocking characters, breakneck uh, pacing, guaranteed to keep you up all night. So, I think the cover is awesome. Next one is Ruby Red by uh, Kirsten Geyer. And I know I've seen this in other people's book hauls. She wasn't expecting to travel through time or to lose her heart. It's a beautiful cover. This is a thrifted book, Anne of Green Gables, number one by L.M. Montgomery. And uh, this is where she comes to uh, Green Gables Farm for the first time and uh, becomes part of the family there. And the last book, which will also be the first book, the next book I reach for, is called Behind the Scenes at the Museum. It's uh, set in England and um, yeah, it's, it's got good reviews. I've seen several people have that in their collection, and I wanted to try it. And it was also a thrifted book by Kate Atkinson, Behind the Scenes at the Museum. So thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, yeah, here's my little bucket of books. I'm going to put the lid on it. 
I'm finishing up a book right now, and um, as soon as I finish that, I will reach for one of these. And this is my next uh, project. I just thought it was a very neat way to keep it. I'm not overwhelmed uh, as I make my way through it. I could either add another one or two, you know, as I work my way through it to the bottom, or just wait till it's completely empty, and then I could um, reload it with my next set of books that I would like to try and finish. So again, please welcome to my channel, Bucket of Books, and I hope that you um, enjoy what you see here. Bye. Thanks for watching.